Dauko, anybody of this charge? He'll be jumping into Twitch the first. Tier 2 turret has been taken out. The second also by Chokers. He's recalling because Trundle, he's at the inhabitor. Take a look at the minimap. Ramos will take down Sayo. Doesn't even get a chance to use the Fellow Storm. And can Blue Team chase down Red Team? They also get the second kill. Flash forward. Taunting. Keshupaya. Now they also lose the inhabitor. They lose three kills. They lose the inhabitor. Can Blue Team get any more from this <laughs> complete old stay? Welcome back guys, you know the drill, this is the series where I cast your solo queue flex Clash game, say you name it, I'll cast it, just drop your summon name down below and I'll take a look at one of your games in the future But today, we're casting a guy that I've casted multiple times before, actually quite a lot I like casting this guy And the reason why I've cast him so many times is because he plays in the Danish UC Esports League Which is an Esports League that I'm casting whenever I'm not doing YouTube and yeah, the first time I cast it, today's protagonist, I called him a Yumi one trick because of the stats that he had on the champions. It definitely did not make him happy that I called him that. So he's here today to prove us that he can play something else than the kitty cat. So our protagonist for today, a red team playing the Leona, ESP Ibsen. That is our protagonist. And as I said, and as you can probably see on the screen, very, very good Yumi stats compared to the rest of his champions. But he claims that he can play other champions. I have seen him play other champions so far. But today, he's definitely trying to prove and show us one time for all that he's not just a Yumi merchant. He can play on his own. And I mean, there's a good opportunity to show it in this lane paired up. With the Saya going up against Twitch Yumi, a really strong lane for Leona Saya if our protagonist Ibsen can manage to get that level 2, connect the center plate and the stun, and then it can manage to take down Twitch or even Yumi if, if she decides to leave Twitch as she did right there. But Leona is pretty much all about level 2, level 3. You can also look for a level 1 engage with the center plate. Doesn't look like it's something that. Ibsen wants to do at the moment, but it is something to look for. We can already see. I've gotten the level 2, now we can try and look. Connects the settle plate, but also takes a turret shot. That's not a great trade for our protagonist. But they are pushing in the lane. Should be decent, should be able to heal up with a potion or so. But yeah, a very strong lane for, for red team as long as Ibsen can land his. Abilities as it did right there, flashing away. Both summons are also used from Yumi and the Ghost from Switch. Everybody survives. But both team using three summoners in this 2 vs 2 bot lane. Looking at the top lane, however, as we are right now. Trundle going up against Chogun. I was just about to say there's a really, really good lane for Trundle. But I would just see his push completely in all. Oh, good use of the pillar. This Chogun should. Probably be dead. Here's Ramos coming in with the power ball. Give the kill to Trundle. No. Ramos decides to take it. But yeah, Trundle, a lane bully, especially going up against an immobile tank like Cho'Gath. Because whenever Trundle, especially when he gets his level 6, gets that subjugate available to him, he can just completely take Cho'Gath's stats and turn them against him. Should be able to win it pretty much every single one versus one trade against Chogat. Maybe even since Zhao here, even though Zhao has double buffs, Nogop has landed there and there's <laughs> Pop the Ghost, even though Zhao was dead. But this is just what Trundle can see. A champion that we don't see that often, but in isolated one versus ones against basic attackers like Zhao or very immobile champions like Chogat tanks, he's just so strong because he can slow. He slows you with his Q, he has very good base stats, fast attack speed, and that Q goes off cooldown every 2-3 seconds. Just keep using it. Oh, good Hex Flash, connects the set of blades, stun has also landed, Saya a bit too far away, Nibson should probably be punished a bit more for taking this trade. Is that going in favor of Blue Team, I'd say. But yeah, there's definitely potential for this tunnel to pop off, here is... Ramos again with the power ball, Taunt has also 
connect this Solar Sleep sleepy trouble bubble. There's still flash. In case if I use it too late. Ramos flashing after and getting the kill. That's the second kill for Booty Jungle. Doing good job with the early game ganks so far. I have to say, Ramos. Now there's no flash in Kashipi again. Another champion, just like Shogun. Very immobile. So there's a lot of potential for Ramos to just return ganks to top lane and mid lane. Get a lot of early game kills for himself and his teammates. So far, so good. Two ganks, two kills for the blue team jungler. And I definitely think that's a good start. Blue team with good scaling. Both if Twitch can reach late game and the same about Trundle. Because we have to remember. If this Chogath goes tanked, which it looks like so far has only bought a Ruby Crystals at the moment. But yeah, the tank gear this Chogath gets, it pretty much means that the tank gear Trundle will eventually get in mid to late game team fight Because every time a team fight breaks out, well he can just press his ultimate, subjugate onto Chogath, take away his HP, take away his resistances. And then just deal a lot of damage himself. That's pretty much how Trundle works. So when you have a good lane like this... Where you can do pretty much whatever, whenever, whatever you want. Well, mid to late game should look good. Did you have to say? It's, it's not it's not really looking like a Trundle lane. As things stand right now. Level 5 to level 6. Playing a really passive game. Which you obviously should do when you are level 5. Versus a level 6 Joker. But I expect him to go for a 1 versus 1 trade. When he gets to level 6. And Zhao, however... Sneaks away the first dragon of the game. Now finds Twitch. Is pinged away by our protagonist. Nothing will happen here. Still, they're still lurking. Rams is top side. There's flash on Twitch still. All summoners up for bot lane. And now subjugate has been used. This should be another kill for the blue team. Flashing away, or oh, taunt. Use there, but walking straight into the rupture of both members of the blue team. Okay, Jogov managed to escape. Playing a bit with Fog of Vision. Fog of War. Fog of Vision, yeah. No mind. <laughs> Playing a bit with Fog of War. Just landing a good, good rupture onto Ramos and Trundle as soon as they walked into the bush. Manages to escape with the use of his flash. Pretty good play by Chogat at that moment. Red team, they will get the first play to the bot side. In the bot lane, I should well say. Also up 20 C, so yeah, they're not getting the kills in the isolated 2 versus 2, but they're definitely getting lane pressure. Already up a kill in terms of gold with the CS lead. Even though they haven't gotten it yet, they can threaten this dive onto Yumi. That's something that they want to do, but our protagonist once again ping into retreat. Doesn't want to look for anything. Jogov looking to scale, using his feast onto a minion. Again, you could use the six times on a minion and then unlimited times on champions and uh, big objectives to gain. Stacks of HP. I think it's 150 HP you get per stack. I'm not quite sure about that, but that's the stacking limit. Six times on minions, unlimited time on times on champions and big objectives. Petrifying gauge used, but Ramos ultimate also used. Taunted. Keshapaya will fall. What about Ramos? Will probably also go down to Sinsau with red buff. Dashing in with his audacious charge, taking the down Ramos again. He shot down from his 150 gold. And it's been worth for Red Team, even though Kashipaya dies once again. And so far, Ramos with 3 or 4 kills from Red for Blue Team. Trottle have gotten a kill for himself. Did we see that or did it just happen in top lane? I'm not quite sure. I think Trundle just got the the famous solo kill in a 1 vs 1 while the play in mid lane was going on. Sleepy Trouble Bubble just misses, emoting a bit. Subjugate is available if you want to look soon up, so 
He is used, so is Ghost. Ooh, Jugan away from Rupture. There is no feast from Jogath. It's just about. Oh, it was just used, I should rather say. Chomp will take him down with one last basic attack also. And I mean, that's yeah, that's just the, the power of Trundle versus the Jogath. You all see Trundle almost not losing any HP whatsoever. One for one so far. The bottom, both jungles fall, and it is now a two versus two. I think Yumi should also be the second one to fall from Blue Team. That's a double kill for. Dr. Chill on the side of flashing over the wall. What about our protagonist? Can he flash away? No, he doesn't have the flash, but will maybe survive with the help of some plants. Oh, and here is. So he gets a kill on our protagonist, but ends up falling himself. What about Keshapaya? Can she chase down the last standing member of the team fight? No, she cannot, but that will be a 3 for 2 in favor of Red Team. Our protagonist did a pretty good job there, I'd have to say, but Saya now 3 0 with double buffs. So a great little skirmish for her. Will she fall her up? Because here is Rambus straight from Fountain flashing onto Saya, taunting her. Will probably also take her down so Rambus takes back his double buff. Gets a shutdown for himself also. Rambus just been pretty fit at the moment. Looking to deal a lot of damage. You also see him with the magic penetration boots. Oh, Paddle Star misses. Petrifying Gates connects however. Steve Trouble will also miss it, but here's Ibsen. Just have to make sure his mid laner makes it out alive. Frozen Domain also used. And Subjugate is about to be off cooldown if Trundle want to look for something. Again, we just want to take the first plate. Now the lane is starting to look like what I thought it would also look like early game. Trundle completely dominating. Jogoth having to wait under his own turret. I has been punished a couple of times. Open his second plate for Trundle. Now he's just be able for, to walk away. Oh, see the trouble level has connected onto the south. Has used the ultimate. Doesn't have flash to get away. So will probably fall too. So we actually get her second kill. And now there's no Keshi Pai ultimate, no pet fan gate, sleep trouble bubble connects. Can she last connect one last string fan? Yes, she can. It will be one fun. Both mid laners get a kill for themselves. Both junglers falling. But so we will make it out scot free. And here is Frontal look for a fight. There is no pet fan gate, but there is an exhaust, however. Subjugate is also used. Will fall. That's a shutdown for the red team mid laner. Trundle maybe overestimating his own damage or not taking into account that Keshapaya did have the exhaust available. Okay, false brain fray was used. So is the solar flare. Can they chase our protagonist down? Oh, solar flare missing. Oh, no, not solar flare, solar blade. Barely missing. Coming down onto Yumi. Ooh, that's that's one connected. Send of blades. And now will get the first kill. I think Gibson will fall to ignite. That's two kills from Luffy team. What about? Is in Sao? Can he make it out? Can he take down Trish before he goes down himself? I don't think he will be able to do so. Which one away? Ooh, connects the W will then take down Twitch. So it's a two for two. I think he should be able to. Maybe win this one versus one. Taunt has been used. There's no need for since out to attack. Rams right now, but the minion will help the red team jungler. Can he get a kill onto the blue team jungler? Yes, he can. And that's a double kill for Zinzao in an isolated one versus two after his bot lane fell. Red team, they end up winning this trade. This takes the kills go up too. 9 kills for red team, 11 kills for blue team. The gold lead almost completely even. Blue team leading with 3 400 gold. I just have to say, it's it's looking pretty good for blue team. Okay, Keshapai is starting to do some damage, forcing the flash away from Zoe. And will probably also take it down with the Tring Fang. Yeah. So we're not respecting the damage that Keshapai can't do. 
And now the goal lead is completely even. Red team one kill behind. Still looking good. Oh, subjugate has been used. Chogav doesn't have feast available to him. And I think he will fall again unless he can flash over the wall. No, flashes into the wall instead. But here's the south to help his top laner. Whew. And Chogav gets a kill and the hard steel stack. Mm. That's a hard steel top laner's wet dream. And yeah, we also have to remember Chogath going for the hard seal first item. Very, very weak item in lane. Doesn't really give any stats in terms of real combat stats. But the earlier you get hard seal, well, the more stacks you can obviously get. So should be able to make Chogath really tank it the later into this game we come. Ramus has already used his ultimate. Can he land the taunt? Onto Cyano, I don't think he will. Instead, he connected onto Leona, but that's not enough to take down anyone from the red team. They do have a force. Both summoners from Dr. Chillas. Dr. Chills, I think. Dr. Chilla, I'm not quite sure, but the red team made a carry. You know what I mean? Kill lead is now completely even, 11 to 11. Red team, even with a couple thousand gold, also does also have two drakes to their own name. So maybe things actually start to look pretty good for red team. Here's Twitch, but nothing will happen. The next dragon will be, or the next objective will be dragon spawning him. Around 30 seconds, Trundle, however, will take the first turf of blue team in the top side. Takes a bit to miss this dragon, but still looking for a kill onto Chogav. Subjugate has also been used, I think. Or maybe it's just about to get off cooldown. No, now it's off cooldown. Instantly used again. Chogav will fall no flash to save him this time. Almost get a, gets a kill onto Remus with the help of Feast. This should, however, mean. And while blue team they expend two members to take down Chogan on the top side. Red team they will expend the rest of their team to take down the third dragon of the game. Their own third dragon bring them back to soul point or onto soul point I should rather say. Turtle Ramos should be able to take down the tier 2. Top tier Trundle a really strong turret taker deals a lot of damage with his basic attacks and his Q jump that he can also use in turret. So they trade dragon for a kill and a tier 2 turret top side. I mean that's... For now, decent trade. Gold lead has brought has been brought back, so now it's completely even. I think blue team can be somewhat happy about that. Twitch human just lurking in the shadows. They haven't seen Zinzao waiting in the bush, trying to dive them. We'll take down the turret. Ghost has been used. There is no flash. But the last chapter has also been used. What about Sensao? Maybe used ultimate. So you can dodge a bit of all the damage coming out onto you at the moment. Ramus should be able to walk away with the help of his flash. And no one falls in the 3v3 skirmish. But here's so She's back down here to help. Can Ramus find anything? Maybe a taunt onto Ibsen. Yep. Yeah. There is no flash on him. TV trouble but will also connect onto Tyre. Dashing in, but she did have the Fellstorm available to her. We'll use it to survive once again. No one ends up falling. Now both bot lanes, they just finished the reset. Now what red team want to do is obviously prep for the next drake, which could be soul. Chemtech soul, which is probably not the best soul, but still a decent soul to get extra bonus damage when you are below 50% health and damage reduction when you are below 50% health. So for extended team fights, it's definitely a good soul to have. Baron is, however, about to spawn in around 50, 40 seconds. It's also something an objective that Blue Team could look to trade with if they have to give up Soul. Good pillar 
Also a pretty good solo flare. Since our ultimate knocks them away. Nipson actually manages to escape. Steam Trouble Bubble also connects on to Cashew Pie. And now they are diving. They end up getting taken down Nipson. They also take down since now there's two kills for Blue Team. The Rams ends up losing his life, but definitely a hashtag worth play so far. There is no Fellstorm. There is no Petrifying Gaze. If they want to look for something. Another pillar used. Rupture. Misses. But this lead Trouble Bubble connects. Trundle fashion forward, exhaust was used. And they will not get anyone. Oof, both. Sire and Keshapaya surviving with a sliver of health. Blue team losing three members in that short little trade right there. And with Twitch being both side, real red team, they could look to do a fast reset and rush straight down to Baron. Take that away, but because there's still 20, death, 20 seconds death times on Trundle, Zoe, and 10 seconds on Yumi. You see Ibsen and Zhao. Rushing towards Baron, but there is no Keshapaya, there is no Sire at Baron. We even see Sire's going bot lane to catch the wave, and therefore I think they will just prep Baron, sweep away any vision the blue team may have, plant a couple of wards of their own, and then they should be good to go after the next team fight if they win that. But yeah, blue team start off with a great dive, and then they just completely overstay trying to take it down, try to take down. Cashapaya, what about Rambus here? Will he survive? Yes, he will. The Steam Trouble also has also connected. It's the only two members from Red Team, but a good Petrifying Gaze connects on the two, three members, I think. Last chapter was used. First kill going over to Blue Team. Will they take down Nipson or will he once again escape with a slimmer of health? No, he will not. It will be a 2 for 2 so far, but here is so very low flashing away with the Stolen Flash. Can they manage to chase him down? Oh, Twitch looking. There is a Fiddle Storm. Available, what about Rapture? No flashing over the Rapture. Great flash from Twitch. Can he escape? Feast is not available but once again. Oof. It is so satisfying with the hard seal. Basic attack. Finishing off. Another kill for Shoga. They also take down the cat, obviously. Four kills for red team. Only three kills in that trade for blue team. So once again, red team, they win out on the extended team fight. And now we have to take a look at Dragon spawning in around 30 seconds. I'll see some pinks coming down from red team. You want to prep the vision that you can. Oh, that's actually already spawned. There is a vision cone. If red team, they want to look. They know the dragon has been started. They already have a ward inside the pit. Can Ramos go for the miracle steal with his ultimate? Oh, goes in very early. 1200 is a smite. No smites too early. Chova gets it with his feast. That's even another stack. Will he flash out or will he just... Capitulate. That was. That is exactly what he ends up doing. Gives off his own life. Also doesn't get the dragon. What about Kashapai? She gets the first kill with the Pitch Frank Gate. Taking down Twitch. And now Yumi is just flying around by herself. Manages to get into Zoe. Red team now. They can look for a Baron. But look at the top lane. Trundle just doing what Trundle does best when you play him in top lane. Split pushing because it takes, as I said in the early, in the beginning of this game, it takes down turrets very fast. Play of the Ruin King. Definitely also help him in skirmishes against Cho'Gath. Oh, and what about Zoe here? Is, is she caught out? The help of Yumi and last chapter, Sleep Trouble Bubble misses. I think this should be another kill for the red team mid lane. That's a 7 kill for Keshapaya. An 8th kill also. What about Trundle? Will he find a kill on 2? Saya, that's exactly what he will do, but. He is now alone. Ramos doesn't look to be making his way up to this Baron. Twitch is bot side and this will be a free Baron for Red Team. Now with Soul and Baron buff. They're still out of turrets to take. You know what to say. The first Baron buff you use to take down all the outer turrets. And then the second Baron buff you can use to break the inhibitors and take the game hopefully. Could just be looking to put Keshapai in the side lane, Chogat in the other one, and then just keep our protagonist Saya and Zinzao mid lane going for that 1-3-1. One, one. That is something that you could look for. Both Keshapai and Chogat pretty strong at the moment, should be able to hold their own. 
special with Baron buff. Instead, it looks to be a 4 1 chug of the side lane. Four members together in mid lane, which is also something that we look for. Sort of has been used, but Ibsen completely alone. No real communication with the team there. No one looked to be at the same page as he was. Team trouble over connects, but no one wants to take down Cashapia. It's out going in with the audacious charge. Yumi jumping into Twitch the first. Tier 2 turret has been taken out the second also by Chokers. He's recalling because Trundle, he's at the inhabitor. Take a look at the minimap. Ramos will take down Sai, who doesn't even get a chance to use the Fellow Storm. And can Blue Team chase down Red Team? They also get the second kill. Flash forward. Taunting. Cashupaya. Now they also lose the inhabitor. They lose three kills. They lose the inhabitor. Can Blue Team get any more from this <laughs> complete overstay? Maybe a bit of counter jungle. Then they settle. We'll also, maybe get the first mid lane turret for themselves. Takes the goal lead down to less than 3000. Took away some important Baron boss from blue from red team, I should rather say. They also managed to get the top side inhibitor. So now Trundle, you can do the exact exact same thing. But at the other side of the map, if you take a look at your minimap, Trundle already making his way down to bot lane and wants to do the exact same thing. And then next time he can maybe also look for an end if the top wave collapses at the same time. That is an opportunity for blue team, but yeah, it doesn't look like blue team will win this game through 5 on 5 team fighting, but with some split pushing this definitely it's definitely a, a possibility. Even though this Trundle isn't really the strongest of champions at the moment, or even the strongest in this particular game, should have three items whenever he decides to recall next. Ram is finding a Sire. Little Storm is available, doesn't want to use it, Dr. Sheila, so he just falls, I guess. I don't know, maybe it was all tapped. Whew, and Shogat, he's really big. Yeah, I don't think Trundle will get anything here, even with the subjugate. Now it's time to recall, maybe. Finish your third item. Get level 16, then maybe you can look for an all in onto this Shogat, but it definitely doesn't help him. That his own team is standing around him with the build that he has. Hallbreaker, you want to be alone. But again, blue team. Doing a good job with the split pushing. Solar Flare connects. Center Flare also. There is no ultimate on Ramos. Still a couple of seconds cool down before I can jump over the wall. Has used a W. Will fall to Sugar. That's another fee stack. And Elder Dragon about to spawn in 20 seconds or so. 40 second death timer. Oh, the blue team jungle there should be just a free elder drake for red team trundle is even a bit late to the split pushing gang that's something that he wanted to look for but Sai is top side so there is still the possibility for blue team to look for a fight around this elder if they can blow blow up Keshupaya before the fight starts there is still a chance the elder has been started up they now see Keshupaya. it's her that they have to go for Herbs and Sal, definitely not. Chogaf. But Trundle's in the pitch. W hey, yes, use Subjugate. Keshapai will get a kill for herself in a 1 versus 3. Gets a double kill. Subjugate is also used. So Blue Team will just capitulate this fight. They lose Zelda, they lose 2 kills. Keshapai have very strong 4 items. Won the fight of, on her own. Only had to expend the flash. And now, 15 second death timers on the blue team bot lane. They can try to just march down mid lane and win the game right here. Because Solar Flare could do the job for Ibsen and the rest of his team. Good engage. If you can get a pick, it is now a 5 vs 5, but have to remember this Elder buffed. 
of red team. Sam is jumping in. We will probably fall very quickly to the elder buff. Goes over flare onto Twist. There is no flash on him. Stand of Blade also connects. Can they take him down? Yes, they can. That's now two kills. They will take down the second Nexus turret also. And they should be able to take down the Nexus and the game here. Red team. Only 29 minutes and 50 seconds in the end of taking the game. With the help of Elder Dragon. With the help of Blue Team making some very questionable plays. Especially Trundle in that last Elder Dragon fight where he wanted to go in by himself instead of waiting for his team. But yeah, red team to win the game. ESP Ibsen, I mean, decent Leona game could probably have been better. So I'm not quite sure about dropping that Yumi one trick statement yet. But it was definitely a pleasure casting a game. And remember, if you made it this far, you want me to cast your game, comment your summon, summon a name down below and I'll take a look at it in the future. Until next time, see ya.